The teens are required to attend school during their stay in Lebanon. Aman is ready with her instructions. You have to wear these clothes. Nice ones. <laughs> nice long sleeve shirt. Nice. And a trousers. Oh, it's awful. I fucking hate uniform. Honestly, I actually feel like crying. I really do. I'm not wearing this. I feel like I'm working in an ice cream like, shop. No, no, I have no For Aman, a first class education is the greatest oh, gift a parent can give their child. The most important achievement a human can achieve in life is education. Because education is uh, it's the road we have to walk to get what we want. Without education, we have nothing. But for college dropout Debbie, school was always a social event. I was proposal in the eye with it. Aman's already told her the school dress code bans makeup. Debbie, has he put any more eyelashes, uh, mascara on your eyelashes? Like, I've put one more layer on, but just let, honestly, just let the school worry about it. No, it's my responsibility to tell you that they will phone me and they will tell me that uh, she didn't obey our rules. I have, I haven't put much, like, I haven't got as much as I normally do on. Yes, they are. No, that's no, not, that's Honestly, not. when you were first wake up, they were perfect, your eyelashes. Mm. They were perfect. You know what you've done to them? For me, they look like the legs of a cockroach. Thank you. <laughs> I'm actually dreading this now. <gasps> At least we look sexy though. That's the main thing, right? The teens are heading here, the Lebanon Evangelical School. It's a Christian institution but welcomes students from all religions. Englishman Dr. White is the headmaster. He has a progressive approach to education. I want to tell them what I believe, and then it's up to them to work out whether they think it's right or think it's wrong. And they, I want to have discussions, I want them to think. But the teens will have to answer to a man if their behaviour doesn't meet her expectations. Like, I'm dressed in shit clothes, so the only thing that's making me me, like me, me, is my makeup. Like, if I respect their culture in the uniform, they should respect mine in the makeup. Dr. White has called them to his office. Uh, Daniel. Yeah. And? Debbie. Debbie. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Hi. Hi. Cheers. So the main rule is no chewing gum and no abusive language okay. in the classroom, but I think that's the same. Debbie, one more button. One more button. Second button done up when we're not doing ties. Debbie, I don't know if you were told that one of the rules is no makeup in school. Yeah, I did get told, but um, I don't compromise on it. I've always worn it, I always will. Can you tone the, the whatever it's called, that mascara on your eyelashes? It, well, it doesn't really come it doesn't, off. It doesn't come off? No. Okay. You'd have to cut your eyelashes Pretty off. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. It's glued yeah. on. We, we say no makeup. If you get a, a method of taking it off, I'd like you to. I will tone it down. We'll just see how comfortable I feel. Just <laughs> please. You can't see any other student with their button undone except Sam. Yeah, well done. Again. Both of them done up. The main lesson of the day is English. And the topic for debate is family values. Debbie, you care about your family thinks about you? No, well, they don't have an opinion on me, to be honest. Um, I'm not close with my family. So. And you don't have an opinion on them? No. Daniel, would you say the same from what you put there? Well, they feed me, so that's <laughs> the very important thing. That's not all like... you would use them for? Oh, and they put a roof over my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, that's it. There's nothing else. You don't care what they think about you. I don't care what they think about me. Cause the teens' selfish attitudes might be cool in England, but Lebanese culture has a different perspective. But, like, let's say he comes out and says something, like, completely out of order to his family, especially Lebanese culture, they'll abandon you straight away. They'll be like, oh, we're not going to handle that in our family because it's respect to the family and it brings shame. Who agrees with that? Omar? If you say something wrong, yes. your family will abandon it yes. because of the culture. Exactly. Yes. If family would abandon me if I say something wrong, I should have been abandoned a long time ago. You have to respect the family, but if, yeah. like, if you do something your father doesn't want you to do, he would just abandon you. Exactly. Like, but don't you think that your parents know much better than you do? They know what's good for you. 
everyone's family's different. So, like, some pe some families might be, like, tolerant of bad behaviour, like, uh, like our family, though, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we've, we've got away with a lot more than we should have. Like, over here. So like, you would say, I, I would have probably been abandoned. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do some homework. The essay that you have to write is on the title, 500 words, so it's like two sides of A4, with the title, Why Bother? True to form, Daniel puts his music before his studies. But to her credit, Debbie knuckles down. Debbie may have done her homework, but a man wants to discuss her reliance on makeup. Can I can we have a talk? Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. How's it, please? You should take your mascara off. It doesn't come off. Like I do not take it off for anyone ever, because I used to get bullied about the way I look. So uh... you are so pretty. No, I'm artificially pretty. There's a difference. So. Does uh, eyelashes give you confidence? That's yeah, confidence? definitely. Why? Because it's... I don't know, it's like a guard, isn't it? Honestly, I lose my personality and everything without my makeup on. I'm not me. It's just, it is kind of like... It sound, it does sound pathetic. It, like, me wearing makeup and dressing the way I do changed absolutely everything for me. Like, um, I stopped getting bullied. Stop being a nerd, stop kind of being unpopular, started getting trip better, started getting drinks bought for us, and it's like, it's kind of who I am now, I'm used to it. This is uh, absolutely ridiculous. I'm not taking it off. I can't. It's like if I've got to wear that stupid uniform, it's the only thing I've got to kind of keep myself. Look at the hiccups. <laughs> like I said from the start, I'm not compromising with my makeup and that. It's just like, oh well, go a night without it, go a day without it. It's like, if it's that easy, I'll do it. 